Hey guys, this is the beginner's guide to climbing Mount Fuji. So the way we got here is probably the easiest way to get here. You book a express bus from Shinjuku and it takes you right to the fifth station. It takes about two and a half hours. If you have a little bit more time, I do recommend taking the scenic route, which is on the train, which takes about four to five hours, depending on how rushed you are. So right now we're gonna take the Yoshida Trail, which is one of the more popular routes. It takes about six hours to get to the top. So if you're a first time hiker, I recommend the Yoshida Trail. So the mountain is open from early July to right into September and I recommend those who are looking to hike the mountain to book in advance because if you want to catch a sunrise you have to book an overnight hut which can fill up quickly. So without further ado, uh, Wyatt and I are going to take you on our hike to the top. So there's a saying, fail to repair and prepare to fail. And in this case we didn't pack everything so fortunate enough you can rent everything right on the fifth station. All right guys, so as you can take a look up here, you'll see the huts, which is where most people stay to get their food, take a rest, you know, take a nap until the sunrise tomorrow. We're staying at the very top just because we want to beat the pack and try to get there a bit early tomorrow. All right guys, we're pretty much there, I'm gonna say. As you can see, the traffic's quite heavy, the higher you get and just in time to catch a sunset. From this point on, it's gonna get really dark, so we're probably gonna switch to the headlamps and maybe a little warmer clothes, because it's uh, freezing. The sun has set. We thought we reached our station, but to our despair, we're not there yet. So we're gonna keep on, keep on keeping on. As you can see, we just arrived. It's warm inside, much better than outside, and we're sleeping on the top bunk tonight. It smells like bodies, but word of advice, it does get quite pricey up here, so you're gonna have to bring your yen. And secondly, if you have to use the washroom, it's gonna cost you 200 yen, which is about $2 US. And this is about 20 bucks US, so if you're feeling a little lightheaded, give her one of these. Oh, oh. I'm exhausted, I'm very sore from yesterday. And we're about to go back for more pounding. I, uh, I don't think any of us are looking forward to this, especially when it's raining now. All right, so due to inclement weather, I mean, we're suiting up now. We had to buy a poncho, which this is why I recommend get all your stuff at the bottom because it's much cheaper. And these things happen on a mountain. You never know when it's gonna just suddenly rain and you don't want to hike when you're wet. So. came up, had some food, warmed up a bit, but it's still freezing. This is another thing that you can check out. It's the actual volcano. As Wyatt points out, look at the tones. Dude, we've been here since 2.30 yesterday. It is now, it's about 6.40 a.m. So I think we've been hiking and walking for a good seven, seven and a half hours to eight hours. Super tired. If you guys want to do that, there's nothing you can't do. I think you'll have a lot of fun doing this one. After this, all we have is the de descent, which is about three hours. It's a lot quicker than coming up because it's all gravel and you can pretty much slide all the way down. And that's about it. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope when you guys visit Tokyo, you get a chance to check out Mount Fuji. Peace.